So, hello and welcome to the channel. So today I'm just going to talk about how easy it is to be vegan when you look at your refrigerator and go, oh, there ain't nothing in there. What can I do with that stuff? Well, if you shop vegan, you just think like you normally would meat. So I had some portobello mushrooms already pre-sliced from the grocery store. So I said, well, i cook them like I would maybe saute some meat, but I'm going to use healthy seasonings that I'm accustomed to using for the last 20 or so years. So I put a really light coat of olive oil in a cast iron pan, got it hot. While I was doing that, I looked in the cabinets and I said, well, I like white balsamic vinegar. I poured maybe a quarter of a cup into a pan with a little teaspoon of or so of olive oil. Then I started grabbing some spices. I put some onion powder. I grabbed some really old piece of ginger that was dried out, but they still grate well. Just think of it as pre-dried whole. So I scraped that over the planer, and I did the same thing with some old turmeric root that uh, most of you would probably threw away, but I started grating it up and it was cool. It was like, um, like again, it's a dried stick of turmeric root. So don't throw that old turmeric root in the bottom of the fridge away. What did I do next? Oh, I threw in some hot sauce, just whatever you have, a couple, uh, maybe a teaspoon, your favorite hot sauce. It's not important to have an exact ingredient. It's just, hey, what's in the fridge and what do I like? So, and what else did I put in? Oh, I actually threw in some tahini because uh, I wanted some type of a thickener and I grabbed a bottle of cashew plant-based cream because I'm thinking cream sauce, brown sauce, you know, you know, when you're meat, you use the cream sauce. And I love cabbage and onions. So I had an old hunk of cabbage, sliced up some onions, threw that into another cast iron pan. And by the way, my iron count was 13.4 today when I gave blood. So hooray for cast iron. And on the cabbage, I poured a little water in there, maybe half a cup, let it steam while the mushrooms were toasty and turning them over to make them brown and all that fun stuff. Of course, after I tossed them in that marinade I was talking about, right? So on the, on, on the cabbage, it's just salt and pepper. You know, about 40 years ago, I was making salt and cabbage and some guy walks in the house and goes, man, that smells good. You making sausage? And I'm like, nope, just cabbage with salt and pepper. So, um, you're going to accustomed to not eating that meat when you start just, uh, just cook without it and have fun. And Amanda's going to try to put this recipe in the comments below because I was just, you know, getting in the kitchen and I just start throwing things in the pan. So, and oh, and that sauce, it, you know, you watch all the cooking shows where they take the meat out of the pan and they pour in the cream and they scrape the pan, the residue to make the sauce. So I did the same thing with the cashew based creamer. And I bought it at a local grocery store. I took the mushrooms out. I poured maybe a quarter of a cup, maybe a couple more tablespoons of cream. Started scraping it up and it got nice and thick and pretty. And I was so impressed. One thing I would say is this is a kind of vinegary tart uh, dish. So I did add into the marinade some coconut sugar, a few drops of stevia. Because anytime you get something that's too tart, stevia can untart it without making it actually sweet. And then another trick when it comes to meat and flavor, after the mushrooms had nicely grilled and soaked up all the marinated sauce cooking in the pan, I took the edge of the backside of my fork, dipped it in the maple syrup, and just dribbled a little bit of maple syrup all over each piece of mushroom. So it wasn't a lot, it was probably a teaspoon at tops. So that's about 15 calories. Don't be afraid to use maple syrup. It goes a long way when it comes to flavoring. Not necessarily sweetening, but flavoring. All right, well, it's time to eat my lunch while it's still hot. See you guys later.